Hey guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and today I am talking about some alternatives to Pokemon. There's quite a few actually. Some that are pretty much direct substitutes, and some that's kind of indirect substitutes, but they're monster taming games all the same. So I'm going to tell you a few that are pretty much just indie games. Obviously, you have things like Digimon and Monster Rancher, things like that, but these are not those. These are indie games, and they're games I've enjoyed so far or I am looking forward to. So to start off the list, the first one is Coromon. A Coromon is kind of a GBA inspired monster taming game. And when you look at the graphics, you can definitely tell it's GBA inspired. It has different difficulties such as Intense, which Intense is really just Nuzlocke. I've been playing that. I love it so far. It, you have great battle animations. You have fantastic designs. Right now it's only in early access kind of a demo mode where you can go up to level 25 so you can't go past level 25 but you can play the first part of the story and i love it uh, i played a lot of it and i anyone that loved the third generation of pokemon i would go say well i would say and go play koromon and also i'll have all of the steam uh you know the steam store pages for these games if they have one in the description below and i'll tell you if they don't have one or if i remember if they don't have one but let's move on the next one is monster crown which has a retro feel to it and it's a little bit darker take on a monster taming game but it is definitely a substitute for pokemon absolutely it has done exactly that for me and it is a good game now, before I go any further, I want to say I'm not going to call these Pokemon-like games. They're alternatives to Pokemon, but they're not Pokemon-like games. They're monster taming games. They are their own things. Now, if you want to call like Pokemon Uranium, sure, Pokemon-like games. It's literally a fan game, but these are not fan games. These are full-blown games. Monster Crown hasn't released everything yet, but coming up on the 27th of November 2020, they're going to be releasing content pack number four, and they've already got a lot of content. Now, if you want to go battle, you can go battle. If you want to explore, you can go explore. You want to do the story? Well, they've only put out some of the story, but you can go focus on a story. You can also focus on crossbreeding, and what's really cool about that is that each monster has their own crossbreed cross breed uh like uh sprites depending on the type so if you crossbreed with something else and it's its prime and you know use it as as the primary parent and you use a different type then you're going to get a different sprite and in fact sometimes if you use the same type you're still going to get a different sprite it's cool you can even change the color palettes it's very customizable very awesome the stats are made easy the, I like the amount of attacks, you know, it has more than four, things like that. I've been playing a lot of that. You can check out my playthrough if you're interested on that. But also going to Disc Creatures, which is number three. Now, Disc Creatures feels like something that if I didn't know it was made in the past few years, I would have thought that it was made, and I'm not joking, back in the Game Boy Color days. That is how retro it feels, and it is freaking amazing. I love it. It has a different system of battling you always put out three disc creatures and the way you get disc creatures is a little different but besides that it's got a pretty good story so far i like the battles i like the feel i like the ost it is absolutely retro feeling and it feels like something like i said that i could have picked up when i was four or five years old and played and then go and then be coming back to it every year or two like i do with pokemon yellow now the next one is Nexomon. Nexomon is probably the most well-known one besides the one after this, uh, but it, it even has a physical, uh, well Nexomon Extinction that is, it even has a physical Switch, like Nintendo Switch release. Now Nexomon ha has almost like Pokemon uh, battle mechanics, but it uses stamina instead and it has definitely different uh, mechanics. For example, while you have a speed stat on your Nexomon, each attack has its own speed, up to 100, which I love. And yeah, there's many options. There's a wide variety of what you can do. It has a really good story, a very good story, and it has a lot of post-game content. I would recommend you go check it out if you want to kind of play, which I have the video up right now. If you like that art style, then make sure you go and play Nexomon. 
I've played, God, dozens of hours of Nexomon, honestly. So, I think it's worth it. And that's why I'm putting it out as a Pokemon alternative that I like. The next one's Tam Tam, which was kind of the one that started to shift the rhetoric or the public rhetoric, I don't know what you want to call it, vernacular, of what was being used for these type of games. Beforehand, it was just Pokemon-like. But Tam Tam really stamped out like the monster taming kind of genre, where it was obvious these aren't just little ROMs or hacks or something. These are full-blown games that are just monster taming games in their own right. And Tam Tam is more heavily online-based, Right now, they haven't released any, I mean, everything, but if you go buy it right now, it's going to be cheaper than if you wait until it's fully released. They only bring up the price whenever they put out new content, and that's one thing I actually really like about them. And they've got a solid roadmap, which is why I bought it early access, as I am um, kind of by default, if I'm going to be honest, against early access, unless the developers are heavy into the community and or have a solid roadmap that they have followed so that tim tam meets that standard tim tam has pretty good graphics it's a double battle system it has different types a lot of these things a lot of these games don't have the same types as pokemon but i would go suggest play tim tam if you haven't and if you got the money you might like it it's enjoyable now uh, i'm going to talk about some things that are somewhat substitutes the first one is patch quest and Patch Quest does not have a Steam page, neither does Costume Kingdom. Uh, that's, yeah, Costume Kingdom does not have a Steam page, and neither does Patch Quest. Now, where can you get Patch Quest? Patch Quest right now is kind of in a beta mode, and you can go to Patch Quest's Discord and download the game. And they're still making updates to it. It's very freaking good. I play it to relax. It's a very relaxing game. What you do is almost like Pokemon Ranger in a way in that you come... Okay, first off, you have a special... or you have an attack that you can use, like a little gun that you can use to weaken monsters uh, without taming a monster. When you tame a monster, it becomes your mount. And the way you tame it is you throw out a rope, get it, and then go around it at least once. Once they get like a little bigger, you have to go around maybe two times or three times. And then from there, they have special abilities that you unlock while you level them up. It's a very interesting thing. You have to go around and get these patch, like these patches, you know, these tiles, because the world's been undone for some reason, and they're in patches, and you have to restore the world. It's a very relaxing and very enjoyable game. I've streamed it multiple times. Go check it out if you haven't already. Another substitute is Abomination, where you're actually the monsters, but it is inspired by Pokemon's Nuzlocke. And... Is it freaking good? I mean, it is really good. You only get to go to the first boss right now, but it's procedurally generated. You can get different monsters each time you play. It's a different experience each time you play, and there's different difficulties. Now, I played it on Brutal, and I had two failed runs, I think. The first one lasted for like four episodes. The, the second one lasted for about five minutes. And then I finally, in a live stream, uh, beat Brutal Mode, and I loved it. Really loved it. And the whole premise is that this on this monster island, in this Obomi Nation, there are two spirits, a light spirit and like a dark spirit, that reincarnate every hundred years and they have a battle for what will who will rule for the next hundred years. Will peace rule or will chaos, conflict, and conflict rule? So you're obviously on the side of the light spirit, and that's the start of the plot. Now you also have Sky Seeker, which is also in demo mode. And it is definitely different. I don't know how to describe it other than I've definitely had fun playing it. There's no doubt about that. You control the monster when you're battling. And you can only have one monster out. And you can have up to four in your party. But it's still a little different. To catch them, for example, you have to throw out a ball. And then damage the other monsters uh, up to a certain point. Now, I'm going to have gameplay of all this going up while I am talking. So, you can kind of see what I'm talking about. It's hard to describe in words, but... I know you can see it so what I want to move on to next is kind of a coming up list and I know this list is getting a little long but that's the whole point I want to give you all plenty of alternatives to Pokemon so 
if you're wanting to just cut it short, go in the description below because I'm going to have links to all of this stuff or telling you how to get it uh, or where you can find uh, there's Discord if you're interested in following them. So let's keep going. The first one is Chain Monsters. Now, Chain Monsters right now is in their last like 24 hours or something of their Kickstarter, and their Kickstarter has been funded over 1,000%. Right now, they only have a sandbox demo out. And yes, there's graphical glitches and things like that, but you can catch the 36 Chain Monsters that they have out right now. There's going to be more. Don't worry. And... It's a 100% capture rate, but it's really fun, and it's a proof of concept thing. Like, even though there's so many graphical issues with it, you realize, okay, this is a sandbox demo, and I'm having this much fun with this many problems. It is a fantastic proof of concept kind of thing, and there's a reason why it's been a thousand percent funded. It is freaking amazing. So. I've backed it personally to tell you how much I'm interested in it. And the chain comes from blockchain. They will actually be using uh, the flow blockchain to keep up with the, like, for example, there's only going to be so many, I think they're called crystal chain monsters. And that's going to be kept up but, uh, through well, how can you make sure someone doesn't spoof it, you know? Well, that's thanks to the flow blockchain and there's other things they have inventory and what's awesome about this is the future use you can actually have games built upon all the information stored on the flow blockchain to build upon chain monsters and it doesn't have to be by the developers of chain monsters so it's really interesting and then you have mython island which is a game that should be coming up in december of 2020 and it is a very interesting game the graphics are amazing a few months ago, it came out of nowhere. I mean, it, there was, suddenly it just was posting on Twitter. And I immediately loved the art style. I've tried to retweet and like everything that they've ever put out, period, on their Twitter. That's how good it is. And I'll have some footage put up for it. There's not much more to say. Uh, just look at the footage. If you like it, you like it. Make sure you go check them out. They've got a uh, Twitter page. I'm going to link that in the description below as well. Also, make sure when I'm going through... And you want to get these maybe you can't afford them now just wish list them you also will have soon necromancer's gift which is inspired by pokemon nuzlocks and it's got a retro feel to it it's a pixel art game uh you i mean i'm going to be showing you video like i've said before right now and the monsters are awesome now what's really cool is that how responsive they are to the community Many of the names of the monsters have actually been picked by the community, as in, here's suggestions for the, for this, like, line, evolutionary line of monsters, and from there, it goes to a poll, and whoever wins that poll, you know, that's the name of it. Plus, they did somewhat similar for the shiny forms, where people got to pick different palettes for the shiny forms. It's really interesting. Go join their Discord if you want to possibly have a say on how a shiny form for a monster taming game gets to look. It's really interesting. They're super responsive. I highly encourage you to go check it out. Now, you also have Buddymon, which is in early development right now. But it is definitely Pokemon inspired, and I freaking love the looks of it. It's its own thing, absolutely. Go check it out. I'm, I'm, there's not much footage of it, if I'm right, but it's... From what I can tell, it's amazing. I've also, I'm also on their Discord, so I'm able to see what they're talking about, what they're posting. I really, really like it. And then you have Cassette Beasts, which I forgot when it's supposed to be coming out, but go check out their Steam page. And you pretty much become a monster, and you can even have this fusion system where you and the other, like, I don't know what you would call it, uh, person that is, like, transforming into these monsters to battle can fuse. It's very interesting, and there's... I remember in one piece of video that they were jumping off a ledge and f like gliding. It's very interesting. It freaking looks amazing. It's got a kind of a retro look to it. I would highly recommend going and checking it out. In fact, if I'm mentioning it on here, I'm telling you to go check it out. That's how much I'm interested. And it isn't just like I'm spitting it out. There are a few I've left out for you know reasons, whatever they may be. Maybe there's just pretty much nothing for me to look at. But these ones that I am telling you about, I love. I love the idea of them. I'm looking forward to them. Yes, I'm big into monster taming games, but these are all Pokemon alternatives. I encourage you to go check out. You also will have Final Stardust, 
which is also in development and it's definitely inspired by pokemon black and white so the gen 5 but it's its own game don't get me wrong it's just inspired by it is not going to be a fan pokemon game whatsoever it's got an anime feel to it as well so it's kind of like an anime slash monster taming game and it's got a really interesting feeling to it the i'm going to tell you the bro the protagonist and the antagonist are brothers when you know one's got like a minus on his face the other one's got like a plus on his face and they've already showed one of the legendaries which is a is a freaking awesome design i can't lie the next game I'm going to be talking about is Laxadays, which right now is an early development, but I've actually done two videos about them. One of them having exclusive questions and answers that even the second video didn't have. It has, well, what it is, is an R ARPG monster taming game that has a cyberpunk feeling to it. Now, there's you yourself as the trainer or the, I think they call him the hunter, can battle as well and the monsters in it is going to be called nanims it's a very interesting game i would highly recommend it it definitely has a cyberpunk feeling to it the graphics are amazing the water is amazing uh the designs are amazing it's all around very interesting i'm following it i'm going to keep up with it because i really 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 like the feeling of it now it's per i think they said it they've been uh the worlds have been like inspired by bioware worlds the uh they've also been inspired by ff7 and persona so take what you will with that it's a very interesting game from what i can tell so far now uh my last section which i know this video is getting a little lengthy but uh there's a lot of alternatives the last section is kind of a somewhat substitutes that are coming up so the first one's anatons which right now has our kickstarter up and it is inspired by arc and it's absolutely absolutely a monster taming game which some people would argue arc is a monster taming game but with anatons it's definitely got a very fun feeling um like for example some monster or some anatons will be able to water like a garden or charge your house or a lot of fire it has where you control the monsters when you get into a battle and it's very interesting like i, I don't know what else to say i it absolutely if you told me hey we're gonna get arc and we're gonna make it just into a monster taming game like purely just a monster taming game i'd be like and you show me anatons i'd be like well it's definitely inspired by arc like there's no if ands or buts about it but it's not arc it's it, you know it's its own thing it's got its own concepts own ideas own kind of art style it's looking freaking awesome i cannot lie it, it's it's looking pretty good and then you got creature keeper which i've played some of on this channel and it's pretty good it's very right now they've only got demos out i don't know when's the last time they updated the demo but i know that they're updating this the build that they're working on and i have like i said videos on it i highly suggest you go and check that out if you're interested into something that's kind of different from, from pokemon you know just the mainstream you get into a battle and that's it thing uh yeah i think i even have in that video a link to where you can download the demo that they have so go check that out the next one's kindred fates which is a game that is highly anticipated by the monster taming game uh, gaming community and what was it this kickstarter got like over five hundred thousand dollars or something it was a huge hit it looks amazing and you get to control the uh i think the kinfolk is what they're called uh by yourself like you control them if i'm right like if they die or something you have to go back and get their soul before you die again it's kind of a nuzlocke feeling and if i'm right these kinfolk are kind of um sentient it, it, there's gonna be lore to it there's gonna be an interesting lore to it to it absolutely then you have moncraft which is not minecraft but moncraft and you'll be able to craft things in this monster tamer game and it's definitely interesting we only have so much footage and stuff out i really i'm gonna have to put up on the screen the tops right now they've got a lot of tops of course they're changing it here and there but they even got tops like rubber and petrol it's interesting especially the creature that the one creature that they've shown the one monster that they have shown that has a petrol topping 
it's petrol fire and it looks it's amazing there's no other way to put it it's a freaking sick 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 uh just a design for a monster it's amazing you also have for the next game masan in a bottle which is definitely an interesting game and they're doing a lot of work on it it's got a pixel art look to it uh, i'm gonna put up what videos or you know artwork i do have of that just go check it out i'm gonna have that in the discord uh, or in the description below the discord link you also have a goddess lost in trance which i'm gonna put it in the discord because it's still early in development they don't even have a working demo available yet but it is kind of a 2d sprite in a 3d world and man oh man does it look not only look good like go check out the color palette if you want to talk about some crazy color palette some bright color palette some but, I mean, it's an impressive color palette. I really like it. I have a nostalgic feeling just looking at the color palettes. It immediately reminded me of some Windows 98 stuff, but just in 2020 and so much better. It runs smoothly. You can tell it runs smoothly just from the gameplay. Anyways, that's all the monster taming games I have for you, or rather Pokemon alternatives. I'm going to have all those links in the description below. I know this has been a long video, but I wanted to make sure I got as many as I could that I am looking forward to or that i've played uh i know people are kind of disillusioned with pokemon right now completely understand ever since pokemon well honestly probably since the fifth generation but it was still good in my opinion then pokemon sword and shield has been the biggest departure and that's why i even got to monster taming because man oh man was pokemon sword and shield bad just bad and i refuse to pay for the dlc give me a full game give me the full pokedex or i ain't paying for another pokemon game Unless it's a non-mainline Pokemon game. I mean, my god, if they came out with like a, a third Pokemon Coliseum or a third Pokemon Stadium, duh, I'll buy it. But that's about the only way I'm buying another Pokemon game for a while. <laughs> Anyways, that's all for this video. I hope you all go and check out many of these games. I love them. I wouldn't be mentioning them if I didn't think they were good. That's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one. And Retro on.